welcome back to another dwarfing hen video today we're gonna do some photo editing so i'm gonna show you how i am doing when i am retouching a photograph and uh, this is uh, a photo of my cat Teresa, and um, yeah i didn't want to have the leash on her so that's why i'm retouching this uh, we are in uh, bridge mode, uh, which is uh, also an uh, Adobe program. And here you can see how you can change the colors of some specific uh, things in the uh, picture. Uh, I also recommend then you take pictures that you do it in RAW uh, format because you can do much more when you are retouching it than if you do it uh, yeah in regular mode like uh, bmp or stuff like that so you have more show shows uh, if you do it in uh, raw format so yeah uh, now i'm gonna start with the, the picture that I have uh, I have fixed the contrast and some color change uh, so this is what I want to take away uh, the leash uh, I have started to take away some of uh, uh, the white <laughs> uh, in the white fur uh, at, the, at the neck uh, yeah uh, the hardest uh, fur uh, I think is the white to multiply that and make it look natural uh, I find it very hard when it's white uh, but that's also a problem when I'm drawing. White isn't my strong, uh, strongest side when it comes to make it natural. Uh, it's very hard when it comes to shadows and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm using the clone, uh, which will you can take apart from the fur uh, and like multi multiply it and put it where you want and it's very important that you zoom out and zoom really into the picture because yeah it might look really good uh, near but uh, look like uh, yeah garbage if you uh, zoom out so uh, always uh, look uh, at the picture from a different uh, zooms my english isn't really good today but anyways let's uh, try to get this leash away uh, so she is a turtle uh, cat, uh, the, the fur is called like turtle, um, I don't know if it's the same name of the fur in, uh, in English but uh, we call it the uh, turtle uh, here in Sweden anyway so uh, she's a cat that is really wild so she didn't she wasn't like uh, very what should I call it still when we were out 
Uh, she was very young when I took this uh, photo, so that's why she had a leash. Uh, we are living at a farm, so we usually don't have our cats in leash. But uh, because uh, she is a wild one and uh, she doesn't know how to behave sometimes, we have her in a leash. Um, yeah. So we're starting to be half done, I would say. Uh, you can sit with a picture for hours. Uh, I have speeded this up uh, because. Uh, yeah, it would uh, be quite boring to look if you would uh, see it uh, for as long that I took. I think I was sitting like at least three hours and uh, I, I did like speed it up, uh, uh, multiply with four, I think I chose. Uh, so it isn't uh, as uh, fast uh, time lapse than uh, usually, but um, I didn't think you would uh, appreciate to see when I was sitting in three hours with this piece. So yeah, so you can see. Uh, that we now just have the leash left. Uh, as you can see, you can uh, make uh, the leash uh, thinner if you would like to retouch a photo and get a thin uh, uh, leash. I don't think it's anything wrong to uh, uh, retouch a photo, but I think uh, uh, you should uh, write a disclaimer if you have a retouched uh, photo, so people know it's you have done some editing on it. But uh, yeah, that's my thought. Uh, I don't know if you would like to see like some more detailed uh, tutorials about uh, some things like this uh, or if you prefer just the drawing and uh, maybe some uh, tutorials uh, of drawings too. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think about that, and I will see to it. Um, yeah, we are now on the white part again, and I don't really like it. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't really know what to say. Uh, I mean, the, the white part is always a struggling bite for me. Uh, I think it's the part that always takes the longest. But someday I might have learned enough to tackle that too. Uh, as you can see, I also draw in some uh, fur uh, sometimes in the picture, and that's because uh, even if you use uh, the clone and uh, uh, oh, what's the name? Uh, uh, 
The Bandage. Uh, that's the name. Uh, I think you you need to sometimes uh, put in some uh, straws of fur uh, to really get the right texture. And as you can see, I am not really pleased. So I go back to um, the neck and collect some of uh, the fur there from uh, and then I'm trying to just make it look normal yeah and natural uh, I don't really think or I don't really gonna use uh, the whole background the whole picture uh, but uh, for this video and for uh, maybe other uses I will retouch the whole picture even if I don't really need to do the last strip of the leash um, so yeah as you can see she started looking really pretty and without a leash that's good <laughs> really really good and more white parts Uh, yeah, I have to fix some of the uh, the grass and uh, flower leaves and the. The clone can only do so much and then you need to retouch with uh, with the pen or the pencil. Uh, yeah. And uh, I also draw something on the flowers to make it look uh, natural, I guess. <laughs> now I just need to The last pieces of the Trissa's fur uh, ready, and then I'm gonna do uh, uh, gonna fix the grass in the bottom. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, do would you like to see? Uh, 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 tutorials uh, of things like this uh, just uh, write something in uh, the comments uh, or even I can put up a card in the corner yeah I, I put up a um, card in the corner and uh, if you would like to see uh, some tutorials uh, um, just uh, vote there and uh, in the comments you can uh, write stuff like what you would like uh, to see uh, what type of tutorials you would like to see if it's uh, photoshop uh, gimp traditional uh, 
photos. Uh, yeah. Whatever you think about it, just write it in the comments and uh, I might do it. So, don't forget to answer that in the card. Uh, so, because she is a wild cat, a uh, wild one, uh, she did move when I took the picture. So, uh, the contrast. Uh, aren't really good in her eyes and nose and uh, the whiskers so I needed to fix so her eyes was in the right color and uh, and there I just dragged up the contrast so I didn't uh, recolor uh, the eye I just dragged up the contrast to make it uh, the right uh, color that sounds st stupid but yeah and here I'm uh, doing the same I just dragging up the contrast uh, and then uh, the intensity I think I drag down a bit uh, and now the whiskers I just uh, do a white uh, uh, strike uh, on the top of some of the whiskers and immediately it looks more sharp in the face and that's a very simple uh, trick when it comes to doing it uh, more uh, what is it called sharper better contrast yeah but anyways now I'm done uh, I just need to uh, fix uh, some small uh, a frame I guess it's called yeah a frame ah, pardon my English today it's not very good but yeah uh, but anyways as I uh, say said said uh, um, if you want to see more like this or tutorials, uh, answer in the card up in the corner and write in the comments what do, do you want to see, uh, even if it's not tutorials, uh, what would you like to see on this channel. And uh, yeah. Uh, so if you like this video please like uh, I guess and uh, don't forget forget to share uh, so more people can see this and uh, why not subscribe uh, I put up videos as uh, quick as I can I guess uh, it has been uh, a struggle the last uh, month, but uh, I think it's gonna be good. So, love to you all. Bye.